Scenario. Yeah, yeah. Sure. All right, two, what we plan to do this afternoon, for one, is to show you how fast fire progresses. Every person out here that is a fire department member knows how fast fire builds, how fast it grows. I think that's the biggest difference between us and you. We know how fast fire grows, and what we're going to show you first of all this afternoon is how fast it grows. The second thing we're going to do is show the effectiveness of fire sprinklers. There it goes. The purple room does not have a fire sprinkler in it. It has a smoke alarm in it that you will likely hear go off. We're going to light both of these rooms simultaneously. The sun's going down in a The room on the right, the gold room, it has one fire sprinkler in it. One fire sprinkler. It will discharge somewhere between 15 and 25 gallons of water per minute. Whoa. Not a lot, considering this hose will discharge hose. 250 gallons a minute. 250. A minute? A minute. 250 Whoa. gallons a minute. <laughs> that is ridiculous. So, we're going to do... Okay. Now, I'm not done with you yet, because we're going to narrate this as we go. I think I hear a smoke detector going off already. That's pretty good. This fire is going to happen so fast that you won't believe that it's going to happen. We haven't done anything special with this fire. Nothing special at all. What? The fire sprinkler has just discharged. I think I heard a discharge, didn't I? Yeah. Did it work? Did it work? And I guess you got his uh, valve open for the right? Yeah. The purple looks a lot more safe. The fire smoke is, uh, is almost like a strat, uh, like a stratosphere or something. You want to climb under that smoke as much as possible. <laughs> This is scary, but you know what? You're seeing it from the best place. You're not in there. Now, if you see right now, that sprinkler has basically put that fire out. What's the time? A minute and 12 seconds? It's basically extinguished that fire. Now, I can tell you from the trip. The one on the right ain't going to get no better, and it's not going to get any better at all. This is an unsurvivable fire. Temperatures are over 1,000 degrees. You will not live through that fire. You will die in that fire. Now, we're only a minute and 33 seconds in this, and these guys are going to put this fire out in the interest of saving our building to do another thing. And that's how simple that was. And here's the deal, folks. In a minute and a half, somebody is just calling 911. Yeah, let's come around the floor. In a minute and a half, we're less than likely to have had a 911 call, right? It takes a while for people to react to that, and it takes a while 
Well, for them to communicate their needs to us. And for this area right here, our fire station is just on Maryland Avenue. That's pretty close. We'll be here in three to five minutes. You ain't got three to five minutes. We haven't got the call. We probably got the call now. We'll be here in a total of probably seven from the time somebody recognizes the problem. So what does this mean to you all? You guys want to come up and take a look? Just don't go inside. I mean, you stand there look. Sprinklers are going to cause water damage, but your survivability is number one. Right. Everything else in that room could be replaced. With that fire sprinkler operating that quick if you were asleep, just like when we were talking about in the trailer. You know, if you were asleep and that operate, that's gonna save you. Yeah. Fire sprinklers were meant to save you as much as it are is buildings. If you notice, we still had to come over and put some water on this fire. Right. Uh, sprinklers are designed to keep the fire in check, not necessarily put it out. 75, 80% of the time, they will put the fire out. But sometimes we still need to put a little water on, which we did here. All right. As you can see, it didn't progress. Right. Take right. a look next door. Yeah. yeah. Very obvious. It's a lot different. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate it. would have been non-survivable. Yeah. All right, so this is a gentleman from Lowe's who donated all the materials to build these dorms. We did this as part of our Lowe's Hero Project. Every Lowe's store across the nation contributes a certain amount of money in partnership with a local organization. We chose the Harrisburg Fire Department as our organization. As you can see, we had a great event here today um, to inform the community about fire prevention especially in particular with the student body that we have here, about uh, 14,000 students. So we thought it was a great message and a great opportunity to contribute to our community. Great. Appreciate it. All right.